Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can make a random number guessing game in C Sharp using Visual Studio 2017. This is going to be done through the command line, and this is pretty much the very beginning way of approaching this and making this game. So if you're dumb and you have no clue what the fuck you're doing or anything, this tutorial is for you. First off, what we're going to need is something that will be used to generate the random number. There's a class for that, and it's called random. Now we need to reference random, so we're going to call it R. So whenever we say R, it's going to refer to random. But we can't just use random yet because random hasn't been created. Random needs to be born. So in order to do that, we're going to do equals new random. Next, we need to create and generate the winning number. We're going to declare it. So we're going to type an int win num, and we're going to assign it to r.next 0, 100. And what this does is r.next is going to choose a random number in between 0 and 100 and assign it to win num. Next, we're going to create a variable that will be used to know if we have one or not. So we're going to declare it, and it's going to be a boolean, or a bool in this case. And we're going to call it win, and we're going to set it to equal false. So right now, whenever we refer to win, win is going to tell us false, which obviously means we have not won. Next, we're going to create a do while loop, and this is where all the code is going to be for the game. So I'm going to type in do, hit enter twice in my case, put an opening brackets, hit enter, and go to the closing brackets and type in while win equals false. Now I'm aware that there is a different approach of doing this, but this is the very beginner way of doing this, so I'm just going to not try to confuse anybody. After we've created the do while loop, we're going to go up. What good is the game without any output? We need some output in the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a class called console, and we're going to write something to the screen. We're going to write a message saying, guess a number in between 0 and 100. Next, we're going to get the inputs from the user. So we're going to declare another variable. It's going to be a string. We're going to call it s, and we're going to assign it using console.readLine. What this does is it's going to read all the input that we enter all the way up until we hit enter on the keyboard. Next, we need to make it an integer because you can't do math with strings. So we're going to declare an integer. We're going to call it i, and we're going to convert s to int by typing in int.parse s. Now, going with this approach, if you type in something else other than a number, your application will fail. But as I said, this is the very beginning way of doing this. Next, we're going to check if the number you guessed has one. So what we're going to do is, if i is greater than win num, we're going to output to the screen using the class console, and this time write a line, which does the exact same thing as up here, but it appends a line. The message we're going to output to the screen is to i guess lower because the number that you guessed was too high and the winning number is lower. Next, we're going to do another one, but instead of just if, it's going to be else if. So else if i is less than win num, output to the screen, console.write line to low guess higher. And lastly but not least, there's multiple ways of doing this part, but I'm just going to be showing you the very easy way and something that you've already learned from here. We're going to create another else if and check if i is equal to win num. If so, we're going to output it to the screen. And we are going to tell win that we have now won by doing win equals true. So with all of this, you're probably very confused, and I'm trying to explain it as best as I can. I'm, I'm not, sometimes I'm not good at explaining shit, but try to bear with me here. If your code reaches this point, you win, and win is going to equal true instead of false, and we are only going to continue doing this loop, this block of code right here, if win equals false. If your code just ends up in one of these two places, win is going to continue to equal false, and if it equals false, we're still going to do the shit that's inside here. So let's try it out. Guess a number in between 0 and 1. Um, let's try 50. Too high, guess lower. Let's try 25. Too low. Oop, I spelled too wrong. It says go low. Go low, guess higher. Let's try 40. 40 was the number because it closed. Now, what you can do, well, I just obviously got to fix the spelling mistake right here to 2 is if you don't want the application to close right away so you know if it actually worked and if you actually won, something that we can also do prior to that is make it look a little bit better. So what we're going to do is write console write line. That way there's a blank line after every attempt. And then upon for winning, we're going to write a line again saying, thank you for playing the game. Console.write, not write line, but write. Press any key to finish. And then we're going to do console.read key true. What this does is it will interrupt our key input and not display it on the screen. Let's run it. Guess a number in between 0 and 100. 50. Too high, guess lower. 25. Too high, guess lower. 20. Too high, guess lower. 10. Too high, guess lower. Oh, we're going right down. 
Five, too high, guess lower. Holy shit. Three, too high. Holy, what the fuck is this? One, you win. Thank you for playing the game. Press any key to finish. Done. If you have any questions or comments or requests, or want me to remake this, trying to explain it in a different way, just request it and I'll see what I can do. I hope this helped. I will be making a lot more tutorials and tutorials on improving this game right here.